so uh, good afternoon to all the students once again please do not force me to take any name all the students are sitting nicely quietly let me uh, you know praise you for that as well only one child is speaking so uh, the hack driver we are already doing and very good vivan daksh i uh, appreciate the students who are telling me the answers as well fine very good mehak as well and who has given the answer from this row no one so everybody of you see if i uh, condemn you in front of here i praise you also because you remembered the name of the characters and you also remember the theme and with the help of all the students i have written here fine so the story so far is thus there are basically two characters oliver lutkins fine and narrator narrator is a lawyer his work is to give summons to people now what is the summon to order to be present when there is a written warrant against someone or uh, to be present somewhere so it is his work to go and call that person ki you have been asked to be present there so narrator ko ye kaam pasand nahi hai he doesn't like to call, give summons why because sometimes he has to you know go to the people who also beat him sometimes he meet people those who are not good so it is very difficult for narrator to reach to the different places and call that person okay now this time narrator ko kiska name mila hai oliver lutkins ka because there is some case going on and oliver lutkins eye witness he is one of the witnesses of that case and he has been given many letters to be present but he is not turning up there he is not coming so oliver aa hi nahi raha hai wahan pe but this time narrator has to go to new malian this is the place where oliver lives okay so he has to go there to find this man oliver lutkins who is very cunning shrewd clever okay and in spite uh, they are opposite narrator is very gullible very innocent he comes in talks of others easily fine the moment narrator reaches new mali and humne story kitni pad li hai i'm going to tell that now okay so narrator reaches new mali and he was so innocent the moment he reaches there that place was not good you know very filthy and full of garbage and stinky kind of place that new mali is so when narrator reaches there he meets a cab driver hack driver what is the meaning of hack driver there are two meanings of this now firstly hack driver usko bolte hain the driver who earns money by driving the car fine who is a driver second meaning of hack driver is hack means trick who tricks others who befools others so he has a lot of tricks to befool others so that's why also the name of the chapter is the hack driver okay two meanings are clear to all of you so this uh, hack driver is waiting for his customer whosoever will be coming there and who comes to meet narrator the narrator reaches there and directly he meets oliver lutkins jisko wo dhoondne aaya wahan pe and oliver is too smart he starts pretending and narrator is so innocent he tells that i have come here to you know get a person named oliver lutkins aate hi bata dete so he should not have informed him the moment narrator tells this cab driver this hack driver he starts his hacks at that time only so he starts impersonating his character as bill ki main bill hu i am a hack driver and i will help you to locate oliver lutkins theek hai khud ko hi locate karwa raha and he will be befooling narrator like anything clear so the journey starts now who will tell me first of all at which place they went frets very good mehak frets pe gaye the what is frets where he where he said that narrator will be starting his uh, business of pool fine firstly he says ki i know you know bill says to narrator that i know where oliver lutkins is so they goes they go to frets koi jagah hoti hai jahan pe jata hai lekin and then they could not meet oliver because oliver sach mein wo khud hi hai then they went to a barber shop fine what was the name of that or next one 
वी डू नॉट रिमेंबर द फैक्ट बिकॉज हमने सुना ही नहीं अच्छे से नो बडी रिमेंबर फर्स्ट इज अगस्टर्स देन दे कुड नॉट फाइंड yes then they went to another uh, barber shop they say that he lends money from each and every one so oliver you know is be fooling narrator like anything usko har jagah leke ja raha hai because he knows that narrator has to go back at 1 pm so he is wasting his time by making him wander here and there ki kisi tarah se ek baj jaye and he will go back the train and i will not be able to you know he could he will not be able to catch me so this is his trick this is his hacks and a lot of hacks see ek to usko bewakoof bana raha and secondly he is earning money he is mincing money also being a hack driver like he is taking him to various places and narrator has to you know definitely he has to give that money in the firm's name uski firm hi pay karegi usko but even then he is earning money out of this yahan tak humne padha tha that they could not locate oliver because oliver was along with him wandering so let me share the screen here uh we were on beta page number 50 still now students are joining see Yes. How about something to eat? I suggested. Let's go to a restaurant and I'll buy you lunch. So he suggests that you know, let's eat something. Well, I ought to go home to the wife. I don't care much for these restaurants. Only four of them, and they are all bad. Tell you what we will do. We'll get the wife to pack up a lunch for us. She won't charge you more than half a dollar, and it would cost you more for a greasy meal in a restaurant. and we'll go up to wade's hill and enjoy the view while we eat so he suggests that you know rather than eating in a greasy uh, rather than eating in a restaurant that greasy food you should you know go and we will get that lunch even you have to pay very less for this and then after getting a meal from uh, my family then uh, we will watch the view from the wade's hill i know that bill's helpfulness to the young fellow from the city was not entirely a matter of brotherly love I was paying him for this time. In the end, I paid him for six hours. So narrator thought, "Re, he no doubt this man is helping me, but he is helping me just because of the money." Usko ye nahi pata hai ki he himself is Oliver, but he was no more dishonest than I. I charged the whole thing to the firm, but it would have been worth paying him myself to have his presence. His cheerful country wisdom was very refreshing to a country boy like myself who was sick of the city as we sat on the hill top looking over the pastures and creek which slipped among the trees he talked of new malian and painted a picture in words of all the people in it he is so clever that he has made a narrator forget about the purpose usko yaad hi nahi hai ki main karne kya aaya hu yahan pe he is making him wandering the place okay let's have a look at this place and we will go to the hill side we will have our lunch and i will tell you about the people of new malian this is not the purpose of narrator so after this <coughs> they have their lunch he starts narrating the people of new malian to him and then uh, they look at the beauty of the nature and uh, he noticed everything but no matter how much he might laugh at people he also understood and forgave their foolishness he described the minister's wife who sang the loudest in the church wo usko baaton mein laga raha hai to waste the time firstly he narrates in the story ki hamare new malian mein ek minister hai his wife you know sings loudest at peak of the voice and when she was most in debt he commented on the boys who come back from college in fancy clothes then he narrated about he is cooking up the stories you know yahan pe minister's wife hai college people are there who wear fancy clothes he told about the lawyer whose wife could never succeed in getting him to put on both a collar and a tie on the same day so stupid things he is narrating fine he made them all alive on that day i came to know new malian better than i did the city and to love it better so narrator is lost in 
understanding the town new million rather than searching for oliver lutkins he forgot his purpose bill did not know about colleges and cities but he had traveled around a lot of the country and had had a lot of jobs from his adventures he had brought back a philosophy of simplicity and laughter uh, he strengthened me so narrator is enjoying his company fine he is saying that uh, he is very lively person the way he is narrating the people and places and he was giving a kind of strength to him we left that peaceful scene of meadows and woods and resumed our search uh, after enjoying that nature's scene the meadows the beautiful trees and plants now finally after relishing that scene do you think that that was the purpose of he was not there for a holiday he would have done that some other uh, other day that was a working day and his company was paying him for the all the expenses whatever he will be boarding carriage or food and he is enjoying that company of uh, narrator rather than you know uh, doing his duty in a disciplined way he started enjoying that holiday he forgot about oliver lutkins then finally he remembered okay i am here for this purpose so please beta please pay attention finally sun lo aap book chahiye hi nahi hai iske liye aapko even if you are listening to the teacher your work is done so we left that peaceful scene of meadows and woods and resumed our search for oliver lutkins we could not find him at last bill cornered a friend of lutkins and made him admit what he guessed oliver's gone out to his mother's farm 3 miles north raste mein ek person milta hai jo bill hai jo sach mein oliver hai so bill usko kehta hai you know where is oliver to uske friend ko bulwata hai ki batao kehta ha i know he has gone to his mother's farm house and this is 3 miles north side we drove out there laying plants ab usko ek farm pe leke ja raha hai where mother of oliver lives let's see whether it is the real house of oliver i know oliver's mother she is a terror bill side ab bill kya pretend kar raha hai kehta hai ki main oliver ki mother ko bhi janta hu and mother is also very clever whether she will give she is really taking narrator to his mother I know Oliver's mother. She is a terror. I took a trunk out there for her once. She almost took my skin off because I did not treat it like a box of eggs. She is about nine feet tall. कहते हैं इतनी वो. She is so huge, four feet thick, and quick as a cat. She is very fat, very tall. She is very clever, like a cat, and sure can talk. I'll bet Oliver heard that somebody. chasing him and he's gone on there to hide behind his mother's skirt so means he's saying she is too huge that definitely oliver has gone to hide behind his mother to hum wahi pe ja ke dhoondte hain usko well we will try her but you would better let me do it boy you may be great at literature and law but you have not had real training in swearing so he's saying that you are good at literature and law but i can help you you know oliver apne aap ki tareef kar raha hai that i am bill i am very smart i will help you in finding oliver we drove into a poor farm yard we were faced by an enormous and cheerful old woman wo sach mein wahi ja rahe hain farm house aa gaya farm yard aa gaya enormous means big and very cheerful old woman was waiting there please sun lijiye my guide bravely went up to her and said remember me i am bill magnuson the carter and hackman I want to find your son, Oliver. I don't know anything about Oliver, and I don't want to. She shouted. उसका बेटा उसके सामने ही खड़ा है. समझ रहे हो? Oliver he himself is standing in front of his mother, और उसके सामने जाके अपनी मदर को कह रहा है कि Do you know Bill Magnuson? I am here to find Oliver, your son. She says I don't know who is Oliver. I don't want to know. Now look here. We have had just about enough nonsense. this young man represents the court in the city and we have a legal right to search all properties for this oliver lutkins baaton baaton mein usko bata raha hai ki ye legal man hai jo aaya mujhe pakadne aaya hua hai he is telling this truth to his mother side pe le ja ke to bata nahi sakta usko 
so he's smart and mother is also smart she's behaving and pretending as if she's not understanding clear so he says that this man is you know he's a lawyer and he can check the properties uh, of lutkins <coughs> bill made me sound very important this is the smartness of bill he is you know praising lawyer to that extent ki you know he lawyer hai and he has good background and a lawyer is not having the need to speak even he is speaking on his behalf women was impressed she retired into the kitchen and we followed <coughs> she seized an iron from the old fashioned stove uh, please uh, mahak can you come here to speak because i have some uh, congestion <clears throat> so mahak will read in my place so i will explain definitely next time i will give a chance to you there Uh, bill made me sound very important and the woman was impressed she retired into the kitchen and we followed she seized an iron from the old fashioned stove and marched on us shouting you search all you want to if you don't mind getting burned first she shouted and laughed at a frightened retreat let's get out of here she'll murder us bell whispered outside he said did you see her smile she was laughing at us i agreed that it was pretty disrespectful treatment we did however search the house since it was only one story high bill went round it peering in all in at all the windows we examined the barn and stable we were reason we were reasonably certain that nutkins was not there it was nearly time for me to catch the afternoon train and bill drove me to the station on the way to the city i worried very little over my failure to find ludkins i was too busy thinking about bill magnuson really i was so deep and richly man might i not go to love fritz and good sir and a hundred other slow spoken simple wise neighbors i pictured an honest and happy life beyond the strict limits of universities and law firms i was excited i had found the treasure i had discovered a new way of life you can sit so uh, you know let's get out of here she'll murder us so bill was smart enough uh, he went over there and that lady you know she was holding an iron from the old fashion stove and she said that ki okay mere ghar search karne aaye ho fine at oliver's house let me do this and she showed an iron to them that i will burn you with this she scared you know uh, that lawyer and that drama was enacted in front of narrator narrator also got scared they ran from that place and you know he said narrator felt very you know disrespectful that how that lady behaved with me i am a lawyer i have legal notice and even then she showed me that iron but anyhow uh, they have to you know went to from that place and they kept on searching for lutkins in the barn in the yard of that place but they could not find so finally uh, they have to go back to city now clear so itna futile search kiya usko itna ghumaya insult it is sheer insult of the lawyer and then but lawyer does not know that lutkins he uske saath jo itni der se ghum rahe and finally when they were going back to the city narrator was really worried that he is really a failure he was feeling dejected that i could not catch oliver lutkins and he was so actually he was so obsessed while thinking about bill only bill has made him think about himself so he considered ki this is the way i have to go back fine if i had found bill so deep and richly human might i not grow to love fritz and gustav and a hundred other slow spoken simple wise neighbors he uh, you know enjoyed that honest life of the people and he thought ki chalo nahi mila lutkins to koi baat nahi i got a new way of life i met very honest man bill i saw different kind of uh, angry old woman i saw the nature's beauty so it was my, my luck only that i did not waste my day though i could not find oliver it's okay 
so he accepted his failure you can say but if i did not think much about lutkins the office did i found them all upset next morning the case was coming up in the court and they had to have lutkins i was a shameful useless fool that morning my promising legal career almost came to an end before it had begun he did not take his task seriously he went back but office authorities ko agle din jo case chalna hai unko to chahiye oliver by all means so he was standing there like a foolish man chief almost murdered me he hinted that i might do well at digging ditches i was ordered back to new million fine and with me went a man who had worked with lutkins i was rather sorry because it would prevent my laughing all over again with will chief of that case he was very much worried he said that you have to go back to new million now he gave another order but with me went a man who had worked with lutkins kehta is baar tu akela nahi jayega you will go there but you will go with a man who knows who is oliver lutkins jisne lutkins ko dekha hua hai he will help you but you have to bring lutkins back is it clear to you all second visit hogi uski when the train arrived at new million bill was on the station platform he is hack driver bill fine jo oliver hai khud he was there wahi pe hai wo near his cart strangely enough that old tigress lutkins mother was there talking and laughing with bill second time when narrator reached the station at new million town he was shocked to see the same old woman standing with bill and laughing kehta ye to wohi lady hai jo hamare sath aisa kar rahi thi us din and now why she is laughing because she is the mother of bill wohi to mother hai oliver ki both of them were enjoying and laughing and they were not quarreling at all from the train steps i pointed bill out to my companion and said there is a fine fellow a real man i spent the day with him he helped you hunt for oliver lutkins yes he helped me a lot he must have he is lutkins himself what really hurt me was that when i served the summons lutkins and his mother laughed at me as though i were a bright boy of 7 with wait uh, just for 2 minutes and then you can go please with loving kindness they begged me to go with them to a neighbor's house for a cup of coffee so that man who went along with the bill or uh, sorry who went along with lawyer that narrator wo kehta yahi to hai lutkins who has been you know wandering with you all the time this is the man you were searching for and narrator was so embarrassed oliver was laughing at him his mother was laughing at him by seeing that how foolish this lawyer is and you know i told them about you and they are anxious to look at you said lutkins joyfully and lutkins usko keh raha narrator ko <coughs> that i told everyone about you already they are about the only fox in the town that missed seeing you yesterday what does this line mean please understand kehta bas yahi log reh gaye the jisko tu kal nahi mila tha jinko main teri story suna raha hu what does it mean he made him wander the whole town he made him meet each and every person barber shopkeeper restaurant uh, sees uh, sorry meadow side mother everybody was knowing that narrator is being befooled because oliver plutkins kona sabko pata hi tha fine so everybody was befooling that narrator he was befooled utterly and surely by everyone everybody gave uh, you can say uh, everybody was standing by the side of bill it means who is smart smarter bill is smarter that oliver is smarter कहते बस ये लोग ही तुझे कल मिल नहीं पाए थे जिनको मैं तेरी स्टोरी सुना रहा हूँ स्मिथ एंड दे आल्सो स्टार्टेड लाफिंग व्हाई वर दे लाफिंग एट द फुलिशनेस ऑफ दैट नरेटर फाइन सो द स्टोरी एंड्स दो 
they are able to locate him at the end they are able to catch him fine but finally uh, who was befooled narrator and lawyer himself so the hack driver has the upper hand so that's why this story tells us that appearances are deceptive we should not believe on people the way they behave with us okay any doubt to online children <laughs>